All right, welcome back to another F10 video. Um, this one, we're gonna try and make this thing look better than it does now. Front end is really aggressive looking, I love it. The back end, it's missing something. And I got that something, check this out. Oh yes, right here. This right here is high tech, high quality carbon fiber. Carbon. <clears throat> ABS plastic painted to not match, but it's glass black. So, uh, link in the description below for this bad boy. But, uh, let's get this thing put on here so the back end looks a little better. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, so here it is. I mean, it's just, just looks like a family car from the back, man. I don't want it to. So, put this guy on here. Instant better. So, like I said, link in the description below. Uh, I gotta prep the surface. It comes with this little roll of uh, double-sided tape here. And, uh, we're gonna get the tape put on first, and then we'll prep the surface last thing. And then uh, then I'm gonna use some painter's tape and uh, just kind of hold it in place for, uh, I don't know, a couple hours, and then we'll uh, we'll check on it. So, all right, let's get this thing started. I use Car Pro Eraser for anything like this. You can use rubbing alcohol or something like that, I suppose. Any kind of paint prep will work. I'm just gonna follow the outline on the top and the bottom. Or the front and the back. Whatever you wanna call it. I am struggling with this tape a little bit. It keeps sticking. It's not cut very well. It keeps sticking. And then trying to pull the red protective layer off of the tape. So it's kind of driving me crazy. So I'm just unrolling some so I don't have to deal with it while I'm putting it on. Man, that tape, the tape it gave was junk. Uh, it just kept sticking to itself on the sides and, um, but got it all figured out. I'm not taping it on the sides because if water gets in, it needs to be able to come out. Uh, so that's what I've always been taught with anything in general. So uh, next, prep the trunk or the deck lid and uh, we'll be good. All right, so the area for the deck lid has been prepped. Um, I've seen people put these on a couple different ways. Um, just go ahead and stick it on, and then the other, uh, you know, if you got one tape all the way down or just two, then you can start by peeling that tape off, or the red part of the tape, the protective film, while it's on the car. So you hold it down and then peel that tape off and it doesn't move. I had to cut that tape a bunch of spots because it was so junky that, uh, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna take all the layers off and then stick it on there and hope, hope, hope it's right. Should be, should be pretty easy because it's got this little lip in the back. Shouldn't mess it up too bad. All right, here goes everything. I don't really think it needs any tape. I mean, I don't think this damn thing, yeah, this ain't going nowhere. Just for giggles. Why not? Oh! 
<laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, we're gonna let the tape sit, and then we'll come back and check on it. Really, like I said, I don't think it's gonna do anything, but hey. There she is. She looks good. Sun's uh, definitely bright and shiny now, but uh, man, it looks good. I don't know, I don't know how it looks to you guys, but looks uh, looks good to me in person. God, that's bright. Whew. All right, so super super quick and simple video today. Um, like I said, link in the description below. Uh, super easy install. I mean, nothing to it. Literally nothing to it. Um, just got to make sure you line it up perfect and get it on there. So, all right. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Until we meet again, later.